Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo. This is Christopher Drames. Yo, what's we up? talk everything Admirals and Predators related. This is our Admirals segment of our show. Um, ugh. Oh yeah. Uh, um, and our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Howard Avenue. Get all your ice, hockey, figure skating, and roller, roller hockey needs. Referee stuff too. Eh. Can't forget about the zebras. Eh. You can go to HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or visit them at... Uh, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin or call them at 414-800-7585. Spend money. They like money. If you don't spend money, we don't, we don't know. know you. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this <laughs> well, butt whooping we took. Well... It was it was a pretty craptastic night for the Admirals. They lose to the Chicago Wolves four to one. Hopefully this will like I, every time they will lose like this though they just come back on a tear. Yeah, because it really don't matter if they lose. I mean we have a we're still eleven points ahead of the second place team in our division. We're still the best team in the league. So I'm not gonna panic, Admirals fans. There's no reason for it. We're still the best team in the entire AHL. All right, shots I'm going first were uh, 16-7, Mo- our Chicago. And then uh, in the second period, it was 8-7, Chicago. The third period, Milwaukee outshot them 9-4. Altogether, the total was uh, 28-23 in favor of the Wolves. Uh, both teams were 0 for on the power play. The Admirals were 0 for 5, and the Wolves were 0 for 3. Uh, the Admirals had five penalties for a total of 21 penalty minutes, and uh, Wolves had six for a total of 12 penalty minutes. Yeah, it, it just wasn't a good night for the Admirals. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be paying very close attention to the league. To, uh, leagues, uh, there might be some penalties coming up. Oscar Dansk tonight had a pretty good game. No, it's not like he faced a lot either. No. Nah. But what he did face, he almost had a shutout. He only let one get past him. Um, I always I always discredit how good Dansk is. He's an okay goalie. I'm just a, not a Wolf fan. I'm just not. Like that Eldenis kid. He's a damn good player. Too bad he plays for the Wolves. Well, right, that's how we takeaway. felt. That's take how we felt about Carr last year, and now look where he is. Yeah, he's on the good guys. Anyways, take it away, Dan. All right, so scoring in the first was Gage Quitty with his ninth with an assist from Curtis McKenzie, his 14th, and Zach Whitecloud, his fourth. Oh, crap, you're right. Quinny did get up, you know. We'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, and then Jake Bischoff got his first with an assist from Ty McGinn, his sixth, and Keegan Colasar, his ninth. Then Gage Quitty got his tenth with an assist from Curtis McKenzie, his 15th. Then and Gage, Gage Quinny gets the hat trick. Yep, he got the hat trick with an assist from... Zach Whitecloud, his fifth, and Patrick Brown, his ninth. That was Quinny's 11th. Yeah, congratulations, Quinny. A hat trick's a hat trick, no matter what team you play for. Congrats. Hmm. And in the third period... Uh, Illy Tolvin had got his eighth with an assist from Reb Pitlick, his 12th, and Jared Tenorti, his sixth. Three stars of the game were Curtis McKenzie with two assists, Jake Bischoff with one goal, and Gage Quinny, obviously, with a hat trick. Um, on my crap list, which uh, I haven't done in a while. Would Salamaki be on there? Because you got a game misconduct in a body. And might be getting suspended, so. Yeah, so Salamaki's probably on your crap list. McCarron had a minus two. Alexander Carrier had a minus two. McCarron it, hasn't done squat since coming over. He only he has, has like one point. That's about it. He has a goal and three assists. He has four points? I only thought he had one. Nope. One point in general? Huh. Um, so yeah, Carrier was a minus two, Gaudreau was a minus two, and Richard was a minus two. Uh, Troy Gross. Gini for the minus one, if you want to even count the minus ones. Yeah, there's enough of those. Yeah, Matt Donovan, minus one, Wilkins. Uh, Allard and Davies. Yeah. But yes, uh, Troy Gross stopped 24 or 28, uh, Oscar Dent stopped 22 of 23, attendance at the Allstate Arena. Um, was 8,528. Uh, the referees were Furman South and uh, Lucas Martin. Linesmen were Mike Anderson and Jonathan Sidlack. 
Uh, yeah, it was forward. a bad game. I mean, like so, I said, it ain't going to really bother me none. It's our first regulation loss against the Wolves. Yeah, what's our total record against the Wolves this year? 5 1 1. Okay. 5 1 and 1. So if we were five, playing, Actually, it's 5 1 1 and 1. <laughs> there's a lot of ones there. Because we're number one. Um. Yep, yeah, so there's that. Um. The Admirals still sit with a 11 point lead over the Central Division. And a current to the moment. Seven point lead over the Hartford Wolfpack for the league. Yeah, Wolfpack's uh, number one in the East. They're number two overall in the whole league. Wow, yeah. Tucson actually fell down to the fourth spot because it goes Milwaukee, Hartford, Utica, and then Tucson. And then Hershey and Belleville round up, round out the top six. Speaking of Belleville, we play them uh, uh, this Tuesday coming up. Yep, and that's our preview. But if you want to talk about the AHL All-Stars before we go into our preview, go for it. All right, so the AHL All-Star game is coming up. I'm just going to give you the skills competition. It starts at 5 o'clock um, on the West Coast, so probably like 3. 3 o'clock our time. So 3 o'clock our time. Central time, I should say. Yep, uh, they have the puck control relay, fastest skater, rapid fire, hardest shot, accuracy shooting, Pass and score and breakaway relay. Uh, what would the date to that be? Sunday, January 26th, correct? Correct. Well, you forgot to do that. You just gave it the start time. All right, and then on Monday at 11 a.m., um, we will have uh, Admirals alum Darren Hadar going into the AHL Hall of Fame. Uh, did you want to uh, stick that to Hadar going into the AHL Hall of Fame? We both watched Hadar play a lot as an Admiral. Um, and then at 7 o'clock, you have the All-Star <clears throat> Challenge. That'll be 5 o'clock our time because the website you're looking at is West Coast. So it's 5 o'clock Central Standard Time, 7 o'clock uh, Pacific. Hmm. That'll be Sorry, January guys. 27th. Now let's break down the team, shall we, in the Atlantic Division. Go. Yes, in the Atlantic Division for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, we have an actual old foe, Andrew Agazino, who played for the Wolves for many years. Um, Bridgeport Sound Tigers, Sebastian Aho. <laughs> Aho. Uh, we have uh, Charlotte Checkers, Jake Bean. Uh, Paul Carey for the Boston, or Providence Bruins, Boston Bruins. <laughs> yeah, the Providence Bruins. Uh, Chris Drager, I believe he's a goaltender. He plays for the Springfield Thunderbird. Uh, Morgan Frost, he plays for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Uh, Joey Keane, who plays for the Hartford Wolfpack. Matt Molson, who plays for the Hershey Bears. Uh, Mike, Sugarbo Mike Sugarbosa, who plays for the Hershey Bears. Mm, Hershey. See, this is why I don't like doing more, talking about the Atlantic Division. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we have Igor Shostorkin. He plays for the Hartford Wolfpack. Uh, Jake Studnicka. I hope I didn't butcher that. Yeah. For the Providence Bruin and Owen Tippett for the Springfield Thunderbirds. Head coach is uh, Chris Knublik, uh for the Hartford Wolfpack. Uh, for the North Division, we have the Bellevue Senators, Rudolph Balser. Um, we'll be seeing you Tuesday. Uh, Alex Bear Berlo. For who? Uh, the Syracuse Crunch, Drake Batherson, who plays for the Bellevue Senators. Um, Reed Bouchard, former Predator for the Utica Comets. Nathan Gerby for the Cleveland Monsters. Uh, Char Car Charles Houdon for the Laval Rockets. Jonas Johansson for the Rochester Americans. Casimir Cascasuo uh, for the Toronto Marlies. He's a goaltender. He used to play for the Wolves. When the Wolves had all the, when uh, Vegas had all those injuries, they uh, loaned him to Chicago. Toronto did. Okay. Um, then we have Lawrence Pouliot, who plays for the Rochester Americans. Brogdon Rafferty, who plays for the Utica Comets. Uh, Rasmus Sendin, who plays for the Toronto Marlies. Ben Street, former Grand Rapids Griffin. 
who plays for the Big to Devils, and Chris Taylor, head coach of the Rochester Americans, who kind of does look like Carl Taylor. What if they're related? Mm, you never know. You want to take the central? <laughs> All right. Represented the Milwaukee Admirals, Alexander Carrier. Never heard of him. <laughs> then we have uh, Lucas Alvinus representing the Wolves. Never heard of him. Then we have Matthew Ford representing the Grand Rapids Griffins. Never heard of him. Uh, we have yes. Jensen Harkins representing the Manitoba Moose. We have Connor Ingram representing the Milwaukee Admirals. We have, uh, who is it, Kevin? That's Lankinen. Uh, Lankinen uh, representing the Rockford Ice Hogs. We have Joel Lesperance uh, representing the Texas Stars. We have Gerald Mayhew representing the Iowa Wild. We have uh, Brandon Mennell. Uh, representing the Iowa Wild. We have Derek Pouliot representing the San Antonio Rampage. We have Chris Terry representing the Grand Rapids Griffins. We have Yakov Trenin representing the Milwaukee Admirals. And we have Coach Carl Taylor representing the Milwaukee Admirals. All right. So for the Pacific Division, we have uh, Yoka Blitchfield uh, representing the Ser San, San Jose, Jose Barracuda. Bar and then uh, we have Kyle Copa Bianco. Uh, he represents the Tucson Roadrunners. I'm so happy we don't play them a lot. You'd be stumbling over that last name a lot. <laughs> uh, we have Kale Clegg uh, with the Ontario Rain. Martin Furk with the Ontario Rain. He used to play for. Uh, yeah, Grand the Ontario Rain. Rain. They're the team that's hosting this year's AHL All Star game. Then we have Glenn Godden uh, representing the Stockton Heat. Uh, Lane Pedersen. Representing the Tucson Roadrunners, Cal Peters Pedersen, representing the Ontario Rain, Matthew Phillips, representing the Stockton Heat, Anthony Stolares, representing the San Diego Gulls, TJ Tynan, representing the Colorado Eagles. Yeah, I remember TJ Tynan, former Wolf. Yep. Uh, we have Chris Weidman, representing the Go San Diego Gulls, Kyler Yamamoto, representing the Bakersfield Condors. And Jay Verandi is He's the head the coach, coach of the Tucson Red Ro Roadrunners. I almost said Red Runners. Rum, rum Runners? <laughs> yeah, Rum Runners. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the Tucson Roadrunners. So that's all we have. For our uh, AHL. Yep. Um, the Admirals' next game is against the... On Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time here in Milwaukee at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. The Belleville Senators. Let's talk about these guys, shall we? All right, we got their leading point getter is uh, Drake Batherson. He has 33 games played, 13 goals, 28 assists. Then we have uh, Josh Norris, who's a rookie, 40 games played, 21 goals, 17 assists. Then we have uh, Alex Formanton. Uh, that's F O R M E N T O N. Formington, uh, 39 games played, 20 goals, 12 assists. Vitelli Abramoff, uh, 29 games played, 15 goals, 13 assists. And then Ru uh, Rudolf Valkers, uh, 19 games played, 8 goals, 17 assists. Uh, the last time these two teams played was... Uh-oh, internet issue. Wait a second, people. I got this. I got this. Don't cut me off. Right, the last time this team played was November 16th. Milwaukee won 4-2. This will be the second ever meeting in history between the two teams. And it will be the final this season. Yeah. But that's all i got for Bellevue. Uh, you want to talk about their goalie? You're having the same internet issue I had. Technical difficulty featuring Hockey Talk making a comeback. <laughs> See? It's making a comeback. Do 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 <sighs> There. It'll just make that a lot easier. There we go. Alright. So oh, a lot of goalies, dude. Alright. So all of the people that were on loan to the Senators have returned because I believe the Senators are done until the All-Star break is over. Uh -huh. So, who is their goalie then? Working on it. I'm getting their rock record. Rockard. 
Uh, they're rockers. Okay. Uh, they have 41 games played, 24 wins, three losses, three overtime losses, and one shootout loss. They are six, one, two, and two, or six, one, two, and one in their last ten. Uh, the, the the division leader for the North Division is the Utica Comets. So yeah, Belleville's currently sitting in second place. Uh, their goaltenders are. Did they send him back? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, following their transaction list is like a headache. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, don't go to page two. They ain't that horrible. But where the heck was this goalie call up? Well, don't worry about it. Just roll with it if you can't find the info you're looking for. Sorry about the dead air. I'm working on it. I'm just trying to figure out if Marcus Holberg is still on the team. Yeah, you know, when you go quiet and think that's only good when you're not on camera. When you're on camera, you can't be having dead air. All right, Marcus we're good. There we go. All right, so the goaltender currently... Hang on, because i got to go to all goalies, because Holberg is not on the team as of today. Yeah. Uh, their starting goaltender is Philip Gustafson. He has a 3.49 goals against average with 9 wins, 5 losses, and 2 overtime losses. And then we have Joey Decord. He has 13 games played, 8 wins, 2 losses, 2 overtime losses, with a 2.58 goals against average and a .914 save percentage. He also has what is the only guy on the team with a shutout. Marcus Holberg is a is 15 games played. Just in case they send him down between now and, and Tuesday, uh, he has a uh, three goals, a uh, 3.05 goals against the uh, average. He has seven wins, six losses, and a 0.897 save percentage. So their goaltenders aren't that good in that retrospect. So that has been our AHL video for today. Yeah, so uh, watch our videos, like us on Facebook, like uh, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, watch our videos, uh, like our videos, mostly subscribe and watch our videos on YouTube. Uh, yeah, um, we'll see you guys uh, Tuesday. Well, technically, we'll see you guys in what? Tuesday? Yeah. As far as the AHL goes, we'll cover more Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, have a good weekend. Go Pack Go, baby. Beat the 49ers. I had to do it. Oh, by the way, also.